Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. In this bulletin, commercial bank to reduce interest rates. Assistance taken advantage of. And education assistance prioritized. From the studios of FBC Suva. Commercial banks in the country for the first time have come out to say they are ready to slash interest rates in 2021. This is being done not only to entice new clients in the COVID-19 period, but for banks to protect their vested interest due to the harsh reality of the pandemic. The Association of Banks have given an undertaking that interest rates will not be going up anytime soon, which will benefit them and customers. Kritika Kumar reports. The banks do not want a situation where they end up on the losing side and its customers lose everything they have invested in so far. Having a much significantly higher risk book, yet we are passing the interest rate reduction to the customers because at the end of the day, it's an absolute win-win situation. I want my debt to be recovered and I want to make it easier for customers to meet their loan repayment. Ram saying they have already reviewed and reduced some interest rates in the past few weeks. There have been some talks about the Reserve Bank ready to give money to commercial banks at around 0.5% for this year. For so all possibility is that interest rates are going down. And, and if you look at um, uh, Reserve Bank stats, monthly Reserve Bank uh, stats, it's clearly apparent and clearly evident that the average uh, lending rates are going down. I've said this before, I want to repeat, the bank should reduce interest rate. But, to the first time, maybe I'm saying this, in favour of the banks, banks are not making money either. The banks say the next 12 months will be understandably difficult and banks will also lose out as the impact of COVID-19 continues to grapple us. But this announcement that banks are ready to play ball will be welcomed by most. Kritika Kumar, FBC News. A lot of people have been found to be taking advantage of the relief assistance being delivered for tropical cyclone Yasa in affected communities. Commission Northern Division Uraya Rainima says these individuals are giving false information to officials and it is hindering the relief response operation. Eleanor Drangeview has more. The tropical cyclone Yasa relief response operation in the Northern Division has been receiving a lot of complaints from members of the public claiming to be affected. We've noticed that uh, some of them, when we visit their homes, uh, there is no damage. Uh, maybe they are seeing other communities uh, receiving uh, relief items or so, and they also uh, thought that they were, I can also go for it. Commissioner Northern Division, Urai Reinima, says these individuals are complaining that they have not been assisted by government and are demanding relief supplies. If we have continued to have people to be uh, raising false alarms with our uh, EOCs, uh, we uh, uh, really uh, don't want to encourage uh, that. Eh? Uh, we want everybody to come out uh, 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 and help uh, one another. Renima says Fiji is being assisted by countless individuals locally and overseas and the assistance should be directed to those who really need it. Our main source of livelihood here was totally destroyed. There's nothing left in our farms, so we are grateful for the assistance given to us by the government and other agencies. Renima is urging Fijians to help each other during this time to restore the no level back to normalcy. Eleanor Turangaibu, FBC News. United Nations Resident Coordinator Sanaka Samarasena was briefed on the work of the Construction Implementation Unit yesterday. The CIU under the Ministry of Economy is overseeing all DC Yasa rebuilding and rehabilitation. Minister for Economy Ayasa Ed Kayum and the CIU team 
provided an update on initial damage assessments and estimated repair timelines. Sayed Kiyum says the UN is an important partner in rehabilitation efforts. They were very interested and obviously quite keen in respect of the work that's been done and they hope to bring a, you know, a bigger team next week to be able to you know, coordinate uh, with the CIU. A number of donors, as we've seen, um, and development partners do come through the UN system. So it's important to keep the UN abreast of the, uh, the work that we are carrying out. The Ministry of Health and Medical Services is continuing its extensive awareness campaign against the outbreak of leptospirosis, typhoid, diarrhea and dengue fever. Minister for Health Dr. Ifiremi Wangai Nambete says 21 days after TC Yasa, they are happy to report there has been no outbreak of these communicable diseases. Elena Trangavu again with the story. Three weeks after tropical cyclone Yasa hit Fiji, the Ministry of Health and Medical Services has not recorded any diseases from the affected communities. After extensive um, work throughout Pono level so far, we know that there's been no outbreak post cyclone. You know, there's been extensive damages to water sources, you know, carcasses of livestock, none so far. Health teams have completed carrying out the LTDD awareness in the cyclone affected areas and will be revisiting them again. They are also monitoring the LTDD hotspots in the three provinces. Minister for Health and Medical Services, Dr. Fremi Wanganambete, says they want to keep the no outbreak status and this will take a lot of work. One thing that we've been reminding ourselves is the data that we had for yesterday is the data for yesterday because disease is very dynamic. Mm -hmm. So today we have to push out again. Every day we have to push out. So that's something that uh, our people of the ground are doing. One of the LTDD hotspots is Nawala village in Boa, which was also severely affected by tropical cyclone Yasa. The villagers are aware of this status and are being vigilant in ensuring there isn't any outbreak in the village. This was one of the villages in Boa that had a typhoid outbreak several years ago. The awareness teams have already been here and the villagers know what to do and are continuing to clean up our village. Eight villages and settlements in Boa, 15 in Madhuwata and 15 in Dakonrove have been identified as hotspots for LTDD. Eleanor Turangai View, FBC News. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Australia's ability to supply to other countries, including Fiji. However, this has not stopped Australia from rendering support in TC Yasa ravaged areas with all delivery and rehabilitation conducted in a safe manner. Australia's Councillor for Development Cooperation, Joanne Houghton, says this demonstrates the significance of the Vu Valley Partnership. Uh, the supplies were procured by the Australian government on request from the Fijian government and we'll, um, we're very pleased to have been able to bring them into the country very quickly. Save the Children Fiji says it is important for children to come out of their fears after any natural disaster. Chief Executive Sharana Ali says their teams have been on the ground for the past three weeks carrying out assessments. She adds children are among the most vulnerable groups during and after a natural disaster, experiencing a range of stresses. Ali says their teams have been on the ground establishing child-friendly spaces to ensure children are in a protected environment. Our team in the field, they have reported that there are a lot of children who have been traumatized and are dealing with, um, with that uh, trauma at the moment. Eh? Um, the experience they've had, um, which was quite life-threatening when the cyclone passed over. So uh, they, they're quite distressed at the moment, these children and also um, the adults in the community. And so there's a great need for psychosocial support at the moment. Up ahead, Suva Club after first NCC title. And youngster continues family basketball legacy.
dan ramai nasi Super Local League champion North Pole is gunning for its first ever National Club Championship title this year. Super Football Association is hoping to field a strong North Pole outfit in the NCC tournament that starts at Lawanga Park in Singatoka today. The side is laced with Super District reps with the likes of Christopher Wasasala, Ravinesh Karun Singh, Trinitani Baksh and Fiji Fag Golden Glove recipient Benyai Mino Matai Nangara. Team coach and player MTR's bag says they aim to make it to the semi-finals next week. It's just very much the first week we have to qualify for next week. Eh? So we're keeping high hopes and hope the weather is good there. The Kaviti Silk Tales will be based in Australia this season for the Ron Messi Cup. The debut season ended prematurely last year, finishing one game only before borders were shut worldwide with a COVID-19 pandemic. However, they plan to establish themselves in the New South Wales competition this year. Akula Dhamma with the details. These players only have two weeks to spend with families before leaving for Australia. Uh, Jan 25, Jan 25, we've got a, we've got a uh, flight charter taking us to, to the Gold Coast. Um, as I said, it, it, that could change, but as, as, of, as of this now, uh, 25th is our departure date. It's quite difficult leaving your families behind for the entire season. Yeah, it would be tough being apart from uh, all our families and loved ones. However, for these local players, they will have to make sacrifices, even if it means pulling more than they can or shouldering some extra work. The whole purpose of uh, this team being created, the Kaviti Silk Tales team, is to create opportunities, those of opportunities for all the local boys. And that is to, and if there's a do, the, and if there's a club that wants a player, the, obviously the coaches and the management they will let them go because this is a development for the local boys to get a, a good career in rugby. The Siltails will spend two weeks in quarantine at the Gold Coast, but they'll continue their preparations. Aquila Dama, FBC Sports. Continuing the family legacy is a responsibility that Ronaldo Kuroi is aiming to carry on. Inspired by the achievements of her grandparents, parents and older siblings, Koroi is hoping to be just as skillful as them. Venina Rakautonga reports the 16-year-old lass is leading the Lions team in the Camp Pacific Basketball Championships. Koroi represented the national under-15 side in the Oceania Games in 2018. After a long break, she is ready to jump back into the court. It feels good uh, get, getting to play back with... Uh, the girls, for after a long break from basketball due to the COVID-19, uh, yeah, I'm just excited. Koroi knows there is much more work to do as the basketball season begins. I want to improve in my skills, my shooting, and also in some maybe teamwork with my teams and also getting to know other players. Coach Aseli Tamanito Okula says Koroi plays a key role in the team. Oh, it's a big confidence booster for the team because most of my players are netball players and Ranandi is um, the one holding the team together. So with her in the team, it gives the other players that confidence to play and try and strive for greatness in this sport. With two more games to go for the Lions side, the team will have to turn it up a notch to make today's playoffs. Venina Rakautonga, FPC Sports. Occasional rain and few thunderstorms over Vanuatu, Taveuni, and nearby smaller islands and northern Lao Group. Elsewhere, cloudy periods with some showers and isolated thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon or evening. Isolated heavy falls expected elsewhere as well. And that is your FBC Morning News. Do join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Have a great day. हमारे खूबसूरत देश बीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य हैं। मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव तक रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप